I'm going to be looking at sticky notes in this tutorial and um, first of all what I've got here is the sticky notes that you've got as a sticky notes app in Windows 10 uh, these are also available in Windows 7 in, in uh, earlier versions of Windows um, and you may be wondering well why why would you have sticky notes when they're already there well sometimes they're not always immediate obviously that immediately obvious that they are there you have to go looking for them by maybe doing a search and actually they're, they're probably quite limited in what you can do so for example here's a, a, a Windows 10 sticky sticky note app and you can see we've got some themes going on there so that's that's quite good um, and we've got this um, options but there's nothing a, a lot there that's really of, of any use uh, we can add text in and we can press Control and B to bold it Control and I to underline it that that kind of thing but there's no options to maybe change uh, the font style font size um, not even anything to, to put URLs in or, or, or anything else so it is, it is very, very, very limited okay so um, let's just get rid of that and rid of this as well. Okay, so sticky notes or stickies as they're called on on my study bar. I think they offer a lot more flexibility. So here's one I did earlier. Okay, and uh, when you launch stickies, actually they're they're located like a lot of the apps are down on the system tray on the right hand side. Uh, so you can see just right clicking on the stickies icon will bring up that menu. The first thing I'd like to do is just go into into options so you can see the kind of uh, different features that are available, different tools that you can use. Possibly a bit too much there at first, but the sort of thing that might be useful uh, are these things here. So on the appearance tab you can see there's the default for choosing the kind of uh, background colour, um, just setting it up as, as you want it. You can have different styles, so you can have different stickies and different colours. Uh, and for example, if I go into empty and I create my new empty, I can call it, uh, say, let's see, Craig's, Craig's new style or something like that. Then I've done that. I can then go in and choose my font colours, um, background colours or font styles the sticky colour, uh, so that'd be, you know, you can, very, lots of options there. Um, if you want to then just clear it if, you, if you're if you not unhappy with it. Let's go back to the default colour. Um, you can make it slightly uh, opac opaque if you want to do that as well, so it's maybe not too obtrusive. But if you wanted it to be there, you could also have a shadow underneath it uh, as well, and may make sure this is checked. Uh, sorry, checked so it's it's on top of the, your 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 notes or, or desktop all the time. So other things you can network it, um, all sorts of other things in there that that you can do. This is quite useful alerts. So you can set a note, and I'll show you how to do it and help uh, how to. Uh, so a note could just disappear off the desktop, and when you need them to do something, it will just appear. Uh, prompting you to, to, to complete that task or start the task. So that's good for starters. So here's the one I've done uh, and it's just a case that you can uh, actually just type in uh, must remember uh, to remem uh, type in's not remem remem <laughs> to uh, do all sorts of things. Gosh, very busy. Okay, now that's quite big. It's maybe a bit too too kind of big. Obviously, you can stretch it out and do that sort of thing. So, what I can do is just really right click onto onto. Let's just bring it down a bit. So, right click onto the sticky, and there again we've got highlighting tools. Um, there's fonts which we can maybe change the kind of font style. Uh, font size get in there quite easy. Let's make that a bit smaller. Oops, that's maybe too small. Font size maybe 14 as well. Um, so okay, that's 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 you know you've got your sticky notes there. So what else can can it do? Okay, let's go back into the system file and system tree and right click and let's go to Sticky's help and bring the Sticky's help in so you can see it. Let's just minimize that so it's out of the way. So it's worth just looking through this because there's not a lot there but it's actually what is there is, is very informative. How to use stickies for example is very good and this is the one. You can send stickies to sleep. So 
so you can say OK, send it to sleep and then uh, until so you can maybe plan a bit in advance and say OK, I, I, you know, I, my desktop's too cluttered, I've got too many stickies on my desktop, I just want to hide it and then nearer the time when you've got that essay or you've got that to-do list or you've got something that you need to do you can prompt it to say OK, in two weeks time I want it to appear and I want it to play a sound as well so it really, really reminds me so that's, a, 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 I think, a, a really good feature that's in there. And you see, it's quite self-explanatory, taking you through there as well. FAQs as well, so uh, lots of other, maybe more technical questions. Uh, and of course, finally, you can always get in touch with a chap who designed it, so that's, that's good as well. So, stickies. Let's bring stickies up again. Uh, a new sticky. There it is, dead easy to use, very flexible, and I think much better than the built-in one or the app one that you get for Windows. Okay, hope you find it useful.